Hello guys, welcome to another video and I want to ask you are you having a breakfast currently in the streets of little village in Corfu, Greece? If not, I will show you how it looks like you are surrounded by the restaurants, by the little bakery where me and Gwen just purchased our breakfast like croissants, some cream pie, spinach, coffee, hot chocolate so that's how can look like your Greece morning? Hot chocolate. Mm, I like it. It's like I don't know what is it called in the Philippines, but I forgot. But we have this hot chocolate in the morning, and it's made out of um, cacao. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what is it called. I forgot already. <laughs> And for me, it's espresso, little strong espresso with sugar. Ah. Really strong coffee, but very tasty here in Greece. Here's our food. This whole way you can see behind us, you can see guys, this is like the different restaurants having each their own seats. The restaurant is right next to each other, just separated by the flowers or plants. And when you are here, you really have hard time to decide which restaurant to pick. The waiters are trying to convince you, come to our restaurant, come to our restaurant, we have the most delicious foods. Then you will just stop here in front of the menu, you can check what they have and then decide where you want to eat. But this time we are not eating because we just finished our breakfast and right now we are going to check the schedule of the buses because later we are planning to go to the old town city. And we have a morning exercise when decided to do something for her health good muscles, muscles. look at these muscles <laughs> they are invisible but they are strong <laughs> Right now we are in Pontikunisi and we are planning to go to the Kanuni Perama Bridge to look or to watch the landing of the airplane. So here in Corfu actually you can see directly the landing of the airplane and knowing that Corfu is one of the most dangerous landing or takeoff. Let's watch guys because it is actually very interesting. So we are gonna walk in that area and we are going to watch the landing of the airplane closely. And also watch here in the cafe bar actually, but we don't like to pay. I'm very excited so much. Yeah, you can see the plane there. It's near guys. There are so many people going there. What's more interesting about Corfu, everything is free. Like swim in the beach for free everything is very free guys unlike in the Philippines we always have this entrance fee but here in Corfu everything is like free all you need is just to walk under the sun and make an effort to get to the destination and why this airport is such a special because of these crazy landings Why those landings here in Corfu are such a crazy thing? Stop. 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 
After we came from the city, we went to the beach to have the last swim of this vacation of ours. I went for some snorkeling and free diving, but on this beach is not really much to see. Just the sand and those algae. There at the back, there was little interesting things. I was actually, I spot in the depth like shells. I wanted to dive for them, but when I was about two meters, away from the ground there in the sea I spotted an octopus and I'm actually afraid of those creatures in the sea so I did not grab the shells it was supposed to be a gift for Gwen but the only I found was this little one it has to be enough for Gwen and now we are thinking to go for some snack and get ready our things, pack our clothes, everything and get ready for tomorrow's flight back to Poland and then to check. Here we are guys with Gwen currently already having our snack and our meal ready. So let's enjoy it. This is our last dinner in Greece. So right now we are in Lores Taverna. We're going to eat our dinner. So it's like a heavy dinner and we will see how it tastes. So here it is guys, we've just received our last meal here in Greece. I ordered a lamb and Gwen has moussaka, moussaka meal and the garlic bread. Beef Looks amazing, right? Yeah, this is actually beef. It's like lasagna in the Philippines. This one is, these are, both of these are actually traditional foods here in Greece. So, so currently we just finished our last dinner with Gwen and Gwen is going to pick a souvenir which we are going to bring home with us so we will have some kind of memory and I guess she already find the correct one is it the perfect size for you <laughs> or having a bigger one nine inches nine inches oh let's try the nine inches baby. <laughs> this is crazy and guys like this looks the nightlife here in the Corfu Island so many people restaurants full of them little stores with the food stores with the souvenirs with the real heroes and kebab yeah, it's really amazing place ice cream everything is here Old memories coming back to me guys because I spent more than 10 years playing that accordion that the red thing which is the man holding the mess the best music instrument ever made and here it is guys, it's our last day here in Greece, we are already in the airport waiting for boarding and going back to Poland Hello guys, so before ending our video I would like to give you some tips or a few tips that might be helpful for you in the future if you're planning to travel to Corfu So first step, start by making a list of must visit gems for you to be guided when you are in Corfu so if you're planning to visit the whole island you have to make sure that do your own proper research how to get there if um, because there are beaches that needs 
to get there by boat so just like us me and kuba we were planning to visit uh, chumi beach but <laughs> it was really crazy because we thought that we can go there just by walking but the only way for you to get there is by boat so make sure that you do your own research um, read a lot of things about corfu and especially the destination places that you will be traveling and second guys for a hassle-free adventure you may rent a car or a motorbike however if you are looking for a budget-friendly transportation you may choose to rent a motorbike because it's it's cheaper than the car it costs 25 euros per day and that way you are just half away from every corner of the island especially in the secluded areas third if you are yearning for a paradise like beach <laughs> those beaches are hidden beaches so that means like to get there is really difficult so the only for you to get there is by boat so you have to make sure that you're reading articles how to get there list down the transportation that you be needing in traveling to those um, beaches and fourth if you're traveling to those secluded beaches especially Gyali beach kuchumi beach make sure that you have your snacks with you and your water and also according to locals guys it's also best to visit Gyali. i mean it's also best to visit corfu in springtime and autumn so probably that's april to june month of april to june and month of september to october because summer days uh, corfu is crowded due to a lot of tourists coming and you know it's summer holiday and so many people are in a holiday vacation and also the temperature in corfu during summer is just very hot also again you have to make sure that you write down all the things and i would say that it's also best if you can it's also best if you, you you are able to tour the entire island and it's more fun in greece guys and the nature is just so amazing i would say that your travel will be worth it so i hope you will be enjoying your travel in corfu and guys the last one you like our video you can click the like button and subscribe button and also you can also visit some videos from our Corfu travel. So thank you so much guys for supporting and watching our videos and see you again next time. Bye!